Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to model a timber a pergola. Like it looks like this one. Okay. Um, we're going to use a structure uh, beams and columns. So first, create a project. So I'm going to use grid. But you, you you can just even use uh, reference plans or or whatever you like detail lines. It's up to you. So. Go structure and column load family and go to structure columns wood timber columns. So I'm going to use 140, 140 and because I have good grids, so just you can pick pick all the grids and I'll finish. So now I have four columns. So now the next is structure beam load family. Go back, structure framing. So wood dimension. Now I'm just uh, going to pick this one. So uh, pick the size. Okay. Have so with this 3D stepping on, typing S E S E S E S E. So uh, if if you look at image, so this beam I. Sit, I want them to sit on top of the column. Okay, so select these instead of the top, change it to bottom. So you see it go up, and then I also want these beams to overhang. So here, cut back, typing minus maybe minus 600, so you can see it just overhang. Okay, so the next steps, yeah, if I want to, so if you look at this image, so if you want to the column go up a little bit, so we just change the height, maybe one six, one five six zero, and then you can use a cope. So click on the column first, and then the bin, column bin. So if you click on the beam first, so you can see the column cut into the beam. So control, uh, that's not what I want. So control Z and do it again. So modify cope column beam column beam. So and the, I think the gap is too big. Select all of them. Change this to maybe two. Okay. So the next step is these little beams so I'll create the, those first so select this one CS create similar edit type duplicate I'm going to create 34 by maybe 670 35 70 and OK and then 3D snapping SE SE, oops, it's okay. You can drag this point back and the typing SE. Okay, CS, SE, SE. So this one, I I need to, I, I want them to go up a little bit. So, and uh, this one's, this one's 235. So I want them to go up 235. Where's that? Okay, Z Z offset uh, uh, two three five. Oh hell, this is two five six zero. Let me change this to ground floor, so it's two fifty. So which means I need to lower this for six hundred or oh, six sixty. So it's it becomes one seventy five. So now it's touching on these. Yeah, so you're just typing numbers, you don't move them, don't just typing numbers to uh, adjust vertically, horizontally, and even you can, you can, um, you can, all these offsets, you can just uh, like, I'll try 300, so you can just horizontally move them, I'll just control Z. 
to Z. Yeah, okay. So the next steps is to create all these uh, patterns. Okay, so go structure, beam system, set work plan first, pick a plan, okay, and pick the top face, and then pick supports. So one, two, three, four. And uh, here is the spacing. So uh, maybe maxis, maximum spacing 300. And this is beam type, which is correct. So OK. Yep, so yeah, we might want to extend this end. So edit boundary, align to this end. OK, so here, align to this end. And OK, so now that's it. So if we want to change the size of this pergola, you can just select this uh, which this this one, this beam. So which is um, which we when we uh, we pick the support. Okay, this one we, we use this one as a support as a boundary. So we can select this this one as well as these two columns. And if I move, so you can see it, oh, everything moves together so it's all the beam system automatically change the size to match okay so this way this way is a little bit different if i select these two and this one if i move it will tell me it's uh, can't keep elements joined because if i move again yeah so see because because this being is not touching this column so they just lo uh, they will lose the connection so but what we what i need to do what we need to do is just select this beam and see this point the dot drag here drag it type here s e s t and then go here so okay select it drag s e here so so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So if if you, if you have any question, just let me know, and uh, I'll see you next time.